Kenya hoi! Kenya hoi! Raila Amolo Odinga, or as most Kenyans call him, Baba, has been the face of the opposition government for decades after losing his presidential bid four times. The opposition leader once again in his signature homecoming rally arrived at the Kamukunji ground where he declared that Mandamano would resume on Friday 7th July in a bid to repeal the finance bill that President Ruto signed on 26th June 2023. Yes. If Ruto meant well, he would have listened to the people. He did not. And now we must fight. It is worth recalling that the Azimio leader also called for similar protests on March 20th, 2023, with a list of irreducible minimums, including the cost of living, the opening of the IEBC servers, and the reconstruction of IEBC. He was, however, enticed by bipartisan talks, calling loyal Kenyans who backed his Monday and Thursday nationwide protests off the streets. On Tuesday 27th June, Raila declared a set of new boycotts to the Kenyan population in a bid to punish the ruling government. Press tax boycotts. Let us deny root of the fuel, let us deny root of the fuel tax by limiting consumption of petrol and diesel. The political elite in Kenya is accused of using protests to pursue self-preservation and relevance masked as defenders of the people's interest. A section of the media recently called him out, accusing him of using the pain of Kenyans to maintain political relevance. One thing is certain, Raila Odinga, unlike many politicians, past and present in Kenya, commands an innumerable measure of support from what one can term as an organic support base across the country not just from his ethnic community. Nonetheless, the continued shifting of goalposts has exposed Raila in bad light. How effective will these fresh calls for Mandamano be? And can his supporters trust him to take them to the promised land he declared during his campaign? Baba is the president. Baba is the president of the Republic of Kenya. Who said so? The function of the opposition is to question the government of the day while fulfilling the will of the minority. In Kenya, the strength of the opposition to fulfill this mandate grows dimmer by the day as politicians are seen to be abandoning their posts and going to bed with the government, leaving Wanjiku exposed to excessive exploitation. Can Baba be trusted to fulfill his word this time round? Tracy Oching reporting for GBS News.